Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. And this will get to the wall out near the 310 sign. And he'll reach second now with one away. Man, that swing looked like self defense than a now real batting. quality swing. But Catcher. hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. And that's through into center field base hit. And they won't risk it at third so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now hey that's a base hit right there. They got two runners on. This may be their best opportunity to get on the board. They've been shut out the whole game. Here's the Panda now Pablo Sandoval and his guys are looking to a. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound and that's going to do it now for Steven Strasburg. So he was able to only get that first out in the eighth but nonetheless he'll depart with the lead. Aroldis Chapman now takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only Aroldis one away. Chapman. Come set now the pitch. Cold strike at the letters 0 and 1. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Oh, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh, 2. Everybody knows he's got that fastball that gets up with 100 miles an hour. This has to be ready to swing. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Pablo Sandoval becomes baseman. out number two Brock. this inning. Here's oh. Brock Holt. Edwin Diaz. Please. Trots in from the now bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two Number on and two away. Edwin Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2 0. Head to head against Edwin Diaz. Just a 3 for 13 batting line. Takes a high fastball for a strike. That's a He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three-one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Chop foul over towards the dugout. All right, three-two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Boston strands a couple. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Andres Quezada enters now from the pen the to start Shots. the ninth inning as he'll Number try 13. to keep the score right where it is Andres. heading to the bottom of the ninth. Giancarlo Stanton now. He'll be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Giancarlo Stanton. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series, and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I wouldn't mess with him. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Now, that low 90s fastball, it won't overpower a lot of guys. But if it's mixed in well, it's a real effective pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now batting. Digging in, David Freeze. He David flew out in his Freeze. last at bat. Into the windup and the pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Calling for it, Kepler. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, catcher. At the plate, Wilson, Wilson Contreras. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. The 0 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kane is under it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. 1 2 3 go the Mariners. They lead it 4 to nothing.
In now is Lorenzo Kane. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now at the plate, Ted Shepard. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Changes up on him there, but it's 1 and 2. Wow, I want that one if I'm on the bump. But let's be real, I want all the close ones. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The main job of the number one and two hitters is up to set the, the middle of the order up with an opportunity baseline. to do some damage. Butcher. So when you strike First both shot. of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. High pop up. Diaz just to the left of the mound makes the catch and that's the ball game. And this amazing streak just keeps rolling and rolling along. They've now tied the 2002 Oakland A's with 20 wins in a row, and they're capturing the attention of the entire baseball world. 4 0 the score this afternoon. Seattle pick up win number 20 on the year. Steven Strasburg notches his third win of the year, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Edwin Diaz records four outs on his way to the save, his seventh of the campaign. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Red Sox, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Steven Strasburg. His record is now 3 0. The loss goes to Drew Pomerantz. He falls to 2 and 1. Time of the ball game, two hours and 36 minutes. A reminder that extra green line trains will be available at the Kenmore stop or if you plan to use the D branch use the Fenway stop rail service is available at the Yawkey station located on Brookline Avenue within walking distance of Fenway Park.